So for the APA formatted document, I've tried to make this as easy as possible for you, the student. You can click either here or up here, okay? And what it'll do is it'll download this Microsoft Word document. Now, in order to be able to use this document, you do have to have a copy of Microsoft Word. And like I said, on your syllabus is a link to a free copy of Microsoft Word. Uh, it should also work on the computers here at Blackhawk. So now that it's downloaded, you can see the file name is down here in the lower left-hand corner. All I have to do is click on that, and we'll open up in Word. Now what you want to do is click where it says Enable Content. Okay? So this is how I tried to make this. All you got to do is fill this out. So type in your name. Remember to use appropriate capitals and so on. The title of your paper. I'm just going to name it This Is My Essay. And then the school is Blackhawk Technical College. You should type the whole thing out. And remember, Blackhawk Technical and College are all capitalized. Okay? Then all you do, then you click OK. Now what it's going to do is it's going to actually automatically save this document for you. So that's what it's asking for now is a, is a name, file name like. So I'll just say this is my essay again. And click OK. Now, if you do it on a computer here at school, it will save it to your H drive. Does everybody know about your H drive? Okay, so whenever you log on to a computer at Blackhawk, you get access to your own, very own networked drive where you can save stuff to and get back to it on any computer here. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to let it say it's trusted. So that's all I need to do for this. So quickly, I just want to show you what an APA formatted document. APA stands for the American Psychological Association. It's the document format used by the nursing and all of the medical areas. Okay, so that's why we use this. Normally in an English class, we would use MLA. But since a lot of people are here for medical, we decided just to go with APA. APA uses a style. So what does that mean? That means like this header at the top here, that's APA style. That's what they do, okay? One inch margins, 12 point font, those types of things, that's APA. It's called a style. Some of the other styles are, there, of course, there's APA, there's MLA, Modern Language Association. There's also Turabian, Kate Turabian. That's what I had to do in college. That's footnotes at the bottom of the page. Kate's pure evil, just so you know. All right. <laughs> and like, there's lots of different styles. So again, we use APA. So this is what an APA document should look like when you do an essay or a paragraph. OK, header at the top, page number, title of your essay, your name, and then the school you're affiliated with. Then on the second page, you'll see that the label running head disappears. This is the tricky part. Title of your essay, and then we have page two. For the first assignment, this is all I need, just this. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now to upload this, you simply click where it says APA formatted document. The icons here look like that would be clickable, but they are not. So I click on that. Now what I do is I come down here where it says attach files. I click browse my computer. And you can see over here, let me, uh, so this, you can see my username is there, M. Langdon, and you all have this drive there. This is where it saved it. Uh, because it's a recent one, and as you can see, I have lots of stuff here. If you click date modified, it'll show you the latest document. And there it is. This is my essay. I click that, I click open. If you are not connected to a school computer, it will save it to your documents folder on your computer, okay? Now you can see this is my essay. The, the file is here attached. Now I just click submit.
And then you should see a preview here. Sometimes it does take a little while for the preview to come up. But as you can see, there it is. If there's any issues with this, I write, I can write right on this document and you would be able to see them, okay? If you made a mistake and you need to upload a different one or a new one, you can see there's the start new button here, okay? If you uploaded it and don't get a preview, but you still see your submission file here, you're good, okay? And that's all I need for that assignment. And then, like I said, when you do paragraphs or essays, you should use this format for them, okay? Does anybody have any questions about that? So that's due this Sunday by the end of the day, okay? All right.